30, uh, 30 days from now, et avec toutes les conditions qui ont été imposées par uh, l'Arabie Saoudite aujourd'hui. Malheureusement, I said it in Parliament as well, I'm going to say it here, uh, the government does not determine the price of Hajj. We do not determine the Hajj package. If it was determined by the government, maybe the reading of the figures would have been different. Definitely would have been different. But unfortunately, it's all about factors and figures and packages that are determined by the Saudi authorities and which do not just apply for Mauritius. It applies for all the countries concerned with the Hajj pilgrimage. Et cette année, malheureusement, ou heureusement, l'avenir le dira, the government of Saudi Arabia has introduced a new private institution for the management and running of Hajj pilgrimage sur le nom de Moudaoufou Foundation. And the Moudaoufou Foundation being a private institution has uh, as the appropriate to set up a whole new list of conditions attached to the pilgrimage for this year, including because of the pandemic, a limitation on age. So this year, exceptionally, Hajj pilgrims would need to be within the bracket of 80 years old up to 65 years old. Another important uh, condition that has been imposed, uh, apart from vaccine, apart from having your PCR test, is the mandatory imposition of a service package for the five days of Hajj. All these, when you add up, has inflated the price of the Hajj package. We are not, still today, not being able to provide a fixed price for Hajj this year because these prices are still being uh, are still not being negotiated, are still being calculated by the Saudi authorities. We are still awaiting to receive these figures, which should fall any time now. But with the estimates that have been worked out, with the airfare, rising airfare, with the VAT from 5% to 15%, so naturally there will be an increase in hush package. But hopefully ICC, and I thank ICC for that, they are doing a marvelous job. They have already initiated all the procedures and been in contact with all the potential hajj in the pilgrims. Everything is on track. Everything is going on smoothly, save for, as I said, the price of the package, which, could be able, which we will be able to announce in the days to come. But the estimate is already on the market, so we have a rough idea of how much it will be. But definitely it will not be 300,000 rupees as was announced by certain persons, not within the realm of ICC or the government. I would also uh, thank my dear colleagues, Honorable Vice Prime Minister Dr. Amistou and Honorable President Oyao for helping me out in the Hajj Committee. The Hajj Committee has met last week and we are working to ensure that we uh, provide the best facilities and services uh, Honorable Abbas Mahmoud also is part of the Hajj Committee, so thank you as well. We are working on, uh, on, on to ensure that all uh, the conditions, all facilities, all services uh, are, uh, are provided uh, so that our pilgrims uh, have, uh, have a Hajj pilgrimage in the very best conditions as for previous years. So you can rely on our support, you can rely on our uh, commitment uh, so that Hajj pilgrimage 2022 will be uh, will be done, will be executed in the best possible conditions. Thank you so much for the invitation and thank you so much for your attention.